Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for uh, Friday's trading session, the uh, 2nd December 2016. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and uh, visit TradeSignal for signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, economic data points and releases, let's go through the fundamentals first of all before we move on to technicals. Asian markets certainly hurt overnight. You have the uh, Nikkei down 0.4%, the Hang Seng what, minus 1.3%, and the Shanghai 0.9%. Any real data economic releases overnight? Mm, only the Aussie retail sales data. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, this morning, we've had the CHF uh, GDP data coming in on a quarter and quarter basis on the weaker side at 0%. You have uh, PPI data out of Eurozone this morning, certainly coming in on the stronger side. Generally, it's signifying some stronger growth, especially given the PMI data this week certainly came in on the positive side. Other than that, we, ha we, uh, we have had uh, UK uh, PMI construction data certainly stronger as well. So that certainly should help the FTSE 100. And uh, we have um, <clears throat> US data to look forward to. You have average hourly earnings, average um, you have unemployment rate, and obviously the NFP data as well. FOMC Brainard, ISM New York, Baker Hughes rig count will certainly be important too. And that certainly is the um, is the outlook for uh, for today. In terms of yesterday, the markets certainly uh, seem to be um, <clears throat> concerned with regards to uh, this potential Italian referendum going into the weekend. Certainly a sell-off there to a large extent. Also the Nasdaq certainly uh, exceptionally weak yesterday, led by the biotechs and the semiconductors certainly selling off. Also given the fact that European markets certainly feeling the pressure as well now we have had talk this morning in terms of qe or extension of qe in europe so that certainly should should technically help the european indices any talk of qe or stimulus certainly will help the european indices so certainly watch uh, for a potential lift there again it's all about italy and the concerns now to a large extent it has been factored in if you bring up the german dax you can see that we are down now from the pivot high there of uh, 10 800 10 900 we're back to 10400 so to a large extent it certainly is factored in okay uh, also we've had brexit concerns as well sterling still at 1.26 and that certainly is hurting the FTSE's ability to move higher now opec certainly is uh, or opec decision given the fact that oil prices are, have been lifted to 51 although i've come back slightly certainly have um, certainly has lifted the market and helped the commodity sector to a large extent now i have attempted to go along the FTSE this morning but unfortunately uh, not the trade isn't performing well at the moment currently minus 20 also uh, i attempted to go long yesterday on the nasdaq and that certainly has been stopped out today uh, now the uh, tech sector certainly seems to be back into potential support so keeping an eye on there in terms of a long position looking to potentially go long uh, based on that now last week's potential light volume euphoria rally certainly has come to an end and U.S. markets certainly are coming into potential support. Again, the Nasdaq being down certainly is the heaviest uh, bearish, uh, obviously, variable uh, in terms of uh, U.S. markets and also is weighing on European markets this morning. But I do seem to see that to side effect uh, being alleviated and we are looking for a potential short squeeze, especially with the oil prices higher. Now, stronger Chinese data and stronger EU data certainly have failed to lift markets. And again, like I said, it certainly is being weighed down by this uh, political pressure from Italy. Now, the 10-minute chart at the moment, from my perspective, certainly is making a base. You have two unfilled gaps above, so watch out for those gaps to be filled. 60-minute chart on the German DAX at the moment. We're in no man's land, really, from my understanding and my perspective. Uh, ideally, you need to be looking at the daily chart to really look at the next potential direction. And the daily chart is into that FIB 61% support. So certainly a strong argument here for a potential move higher. Okay. Now, if I cross-reference that with the MDAX, the MDAX certainly is performing weaker. Now, there is a potential support zone here. If that fails, then you are going to potentially go lower on the MDAX as well. So, ideally, you do want to see a potential base in the MDAX in order to see a base in the German DAX as well. And having said that, just stronger EU data certainly does support the DAX potentially moving higher. And the German DAX certainly does bear a lot of the responsibilities of a failure in Turkey. Sorry, Italy. So, Ben, bear that in mind. Daily chart at the moment of the uh, french cac now you are now potentially coming into support okay you're into that pivot s3 certainly extremely extremely oversold uh, rsi certainly oversold as well so again looking for a potential pop 60 minute chart diagonal trend line horizontal support certainly looking for a pop on the french cac okay in terms of the FTSE 100 still failing to uh, move higher i was expecting a potential rally here 
given the fact that we did pop higher, uh, rather than making a lower low, we actually made a, 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 a significant uh, bottom, and then we were looking for a higher low, and that certainly hasn't transpired at all. I use a Fibonacci retracement pivot low to high, and the market has negated the Fib 75%, which I actually attempted to go along at, and the market certainly has ignored that altogether, and we are now starting to move south again. Currently below 6684, this market certainly does open up, then the daily chart certainly is is being threatened now the 60 minute chart does have support here at 6680 and that fails and obviously we know where we're going next now the daily chart if we break this key support the next level really is 6655 and then you have the next level being 6613 so those two zones certainly come into play and given the fact that oil price is at 51 you would expect the FTSE certainly significantly higher significantly higher and the real reason why it isn't is because of cable okay and the uncertainty regarding obviously Brexit and so on and so forth. So again, bear that in mind. Uh, I am looking for a potential lift here, a potential pop on the FTSE, but markets will dictate, okay? Uh, my opinion is just an opinion, and in reality, price action pays, okay? Literally. Okay, so uh, my understanding, FTSE in support, looking for a pop, looking for a rally. Uh, my bias remains bullish on the FTSE 100, okay? Uh, you have the unfilled gap now, that certainly needs to close above around the 6 and 50 zone. Your horizontal resistance six seven fifty six, and those are the two zones that I'm expecting to uh, potentially come into play. Okay, especially after we broke the bearish uh, channel yesterday. Okay, I think that's a good summation of the European indices. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.